Here is a very fundamental question that we shall try to address in this video. Why is Germany, the European Union's biggest economy, not investing in its military? Turns out it is the US that is preventing it. Look at this report. Germany cannot fulfill NATO commitment for troops, military equipment by the next year. The German military is as good as nothing. And this happened at the behest of the US. But why does the US want to keep Germany weak? Details in the video. Hi and welcome you are watching Outright. We discuss the right story. I request you subscribe to our channel to help us keep going. Let's begin. Germany's leading newspaper Bild recently accessed a 14 page analysis dispatched by Germany's inspector of the army Alphonse Mais and made a shocking claim. An armed division that Germany promised to NATO is not fully ready for battle. It also revealed that a tank division that Berlin promised to NATO is facing a shortage of 21% in its units. Previously, the German government's expectation was to place the entire division at the service of NATO by 2025, but it is already considered virtually impossible for this objective to be achieved within this period. But what is the reason behind such a sad state of affairs within the German military? First, the absence of a sufficient defense budget and second, the constant military aid to Kyiv in the current conflict. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz last year promised he will invest more than 100 billion dollars to boost the German defenses. One year down the line, the German government seems to have abandoned the plan. Not a single cent has been spent on improving the military. In fact, Berlin also clarified that it won't spend 2% of its GDP on defense immediately. This problem is further aggravated by the fact that Berlin has blindly followed USA's anti-Russia war policy. It has exhausted its own military arsenal to shore up Ukraine's defenses. In February, German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius stated that Berlin does not have armed forces that are capable of defending the country. At the same time, the head of the German Armed Forces Association, Colonel Andre Wustner, warned about the absence of essential hardware as a result of the shipments to Ukraine. He said, To date, we have not received a replacement for a single self-propelled Popitzer that we gave to Ukraine last year. So far, Germany has followed USA's policy on Ukraine. And this has left Germany more dependent on the US for its security. Had Germany invested that $100 billion into its military, Berlin would have become a military superpower of its own. In that scenario, NATO would have lost its relevance. You know why Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, is able to take a hard stance against US? Because France is the EU's military superpower. It does not need US to defend itself. But can you expect a Canada or a Germany to say a word against US? Hell no. By keeping Germany entangled in the Ukraine crisis, Washington ensured Berlin never gets to invest enough in its military. As a result, Germany has to blindly follow USA's military, economic and political policies. That's why if you see the bigger picture, NATO is a tool for US to control its allies or I should say dictate its allies. And US has systematically prevented NATO countries from developing great military strength. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.